Welcome to Best Incorporated Soldering Tip of the Month. Hi, my name is Norman Meir and I'm an IPC Master Instructor. And this month's soldering tip will be on how to use StencilMate. What do we use StencilMate for? Very easy. It is to bump uh, BTCs, bottom termination connections, on, in other words, our part, and the other stencil is gonna be actually utilized on our board. That way we get a, a part that looks sort of like a BGA, a ball grid array. But we bump the part and it's easier to rework. Okay, so the material that we'll need. First off, we'll need a stencil mate. Okay, you'll notice that the one stencil here has like a window pane in it with crosses in the middle. Okay, that one is actually for the part and the one right here is actually for the board itself. You'll need a squeegee. You got your part there in front of you. We're gonna be utilizing a lead solder paste on this and you'll need some alcohol to clean it. You're gonna need an oven or a hot air gun to reflow the, the part and um, the board itself. So let's get started. Let's take this out of the way. First thing we did, what I do is I built a jig. Okay, very easy to do. Next thing I do is I flip my part over something like this, snaps right into place, okay? Then, grab a little alcohol. And again, oils and contaminants that might be on my hand or anything like that might be there. So you just wanna make sure, nicely rub it nice and clean a little alcohol on there. Then, you grab the one with the window pane in it. You grab a corner here, work with your nice fingernails and we're gonna line it and place it. Now what I use is the edge of my squeegee, just something like this, stick it on there, and then slowly come down, get a good alignment as I'm coming down, just like so, so far so good. Now if it gets stuck on there like it just did, just peel it back off just like that, and try again. Again, just Catch a corner. This is a lot of fun to align, trust me on that. Let's get a good alignment here. Let's go down, boom. Right on there, just like that. And then what you wanna do is you wanna press down around the center area of it and go out of the outer edge, just a little circle like that, okay? That way you keep your adhesive on there and down. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna squeegee some solder paste into the apertures. Okay, so let's do that. Now one thing you wanna remember about the solder paste, you wanna keep it cool so you get a, a thicker viscosity. In other words, that way it can actually go into the holes a little bit easier. Just squeegee it in there, just something like that really quick. There we go. I'm gonna remove the excess, just like that. Go to the outer edges with it. Go to this side, get some of that excess off of there real quick, just like I'm doing. Turn your board if you have to, just like this. There we go. Still cleaning my squeegee. Just go right here to the outer edges, just like that. And remove that excess off there. Turn my board again. Still got a little bit right there. So there we go. There. Now we've got this all done. Everything, it wasn't too hard. I'm just trying to clean off a little bit of that excess still yet. Now it is ready to go be placed in our oven and reflow. So while that's reflowing, the next thing we want to do is actually our board. So let's grab our board. We got a board right here for you. What I'm gonna do is increase my magnification so you can see it a little bit easier. I know, focus, right? Okay, how's that? Better, right? Good. I like to use a microscope to see what I'm doing. That way I can see all my apertures, my land areas. Makes my job a little bit easier, okay? Next thing you want to do, there you go, you got it, clean it. Contamination. 
We want to get a good quality solder joint. Okay, there's nice and clean. Next thing you want to do is dab it dry because of the adhesive on the uh, other part of your stencil. Next, grab your stencil. This is where you see how good your fingernails really are. Grab a hold of it. I peeled it off just like that. Again, I just utilized my tools. Get a good positioning. All the way around. Just like so. It moved on me. All you gotta do is be gentle with it. Pick it back up. You can possibly align it. There we go. There we go. Looks nice now. Kind of pressed down all the way around, just like so, just like that. Now, you can either use kept on tape. Let me refocus it and go all the way around. Or you can actually take what's left of this, come here, take it off, just like so. Again. Grab my squeegee, just like so. Now what I'm gonna do is align it all the way around. Just like so, be very careful. Place it, just like that, look at that. Doesn't that look nice? Got a nice uniformity all the way around. Now what is this gonna do? That's gonna help catch, you, catch that excess residue. Now you still got one more piece to grab, right? It's on the very end of it. Okay. And again, do the same thing with that. Get a good placement with it just. Now that you see that we have placed the tape all the way around it, just like that, nice and smooth and flat. What's the next thing we can do? Oh, that's right. Let's squeegee the solder paste into this one. So let's do that. Again, we're gonna use a lead solder paste, eutectic. Grab it, squeeze you across just like this. What I'm trying to do is get, that center is the hardest part to do this whole thing. Okay, just being very careful with it. Get the outer edges just like so. Clean off the excess. Now what we've done on this, we've reduced the aperture size on our stencil on this so you don't need a lot. Remember we put a lot on our part to start with. So we just go all the way around just like this. Just keep on going. Nice and pretty. Get the excess off. Just like that. Now the next thing you're going to do is to come up underneath here. And remember this stencil itself. Let's take this back off of there. Grab a hold of it and peel it. That's one. Okay, come around to this one. Doing the same thing with it. Come turn it. Peel it up. Let's see if we can do that. There we go. Now we've got it all the way around there. Let me look right here. I see a little bit of excess. And what you can also do is you can use, you can wipe the edges if you want, or you can do what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. Now, we've got all that nice and neat for you, don't we? I see one little spot. There. Okay, now, we've got everything done. Looks nice, doesn't it? There we go. Now, our part is done in the back. Let's grab a hold of it, shall we? Let's move this out of the way. Let's take our part off of uh, our jig. Let's take a part off our jig just like this. Move the jig completely out of the way. Let's remove it from the stencil itself, just like that. Okay, next thing we gotta do is we've got Next thing we've got to do is grab an acid brush, which I have right here. A little bit of alcohol. 
And we're gonna come in and clean all the excess residue off of it. Let's scrub her down really good so we don't have any of the adhesive in there that might stick. Now what you might have to do is clean off your acid brush a little bit, come back in here and clean off a little bit more of that residue. Okay, you can wipe it off. Look at that. Looks very nice, doesn't it? Oh, sorry. Okay, now it's ready to be placed onto the board. Look at the uniformity all the way around there. Every lead, our land in the center, nice and crisp. Everything is ready to go. It looks like a bumped BGA. Okay, it doesn't have the balls on it. But every land, and it's gonna be easier to place. Look at that around through there. You can see that they're raised around the edges. Okay, now we grab our part again, our board itself. Now, we can look here and we can find our notch, correct? We look right there, that means pin one is right over there. Now we grab our board, our part, and we're gonna look on it. There we go. Okay, so we've got that too. So the next thing we gotta do is what? Place it, correct? You don't have to take the stencil back out. Just leave it right there. And then all you have to do is come down in here and be very gentle. Align it just a little bit, just like so. And now it can go through the reflow process. And you're done. Just that simple. I hope you enjoyed this on how to properly use Stencil Mate. Thank you and have a nice day.